everyone in today's video we will see how to plot an effective graphs for research papers in excel sheet it's in microsoft excel sheet that we'll see for that first you need to go for excel just you can open directly or you can type excel and you can see that this microsoft office excel click on that so now your excel sheet open like this simply here i am considering some a under a few values like 1 3 5 7 9 2 4 6 8 under b i am considering again 12 13, 15, 18, 15, few values will consider and 64. Now, if you want to plot a graph between these two, just to select any one axis or any one column and go to the insert and go to scatter so scatter here if you want only dots means that only points means you can click on this one points with lines means you can click on this one only smooth curves smooth curves without points means you can click on this one here straight curves with points or markers so this is only straight lines without marker marker option okay so generally we'll go for this scatter with smooth lines and markers if you click on that one you'll get the curve like this but here we have selected only one axis that is only y axis we have selected x axis also we need to provide default it will take from zero to some values but if you right click on that one then click on select data here go to that series what we are created that created with name series one so click on that series one edit and x axis values also you can select here just click on that and select this x axis values click ok Again, if you want to select the y axis also you can change that y axis values also and y axis click ok and ok so to get the smooth curve here instead of uh, giving some random values you can provide the any values you can take anyway if you want to plot the same graph let it be as it is now so if you want to edit that series one name also again right click on that one select data series one you select edit here can change this give the series name also that is a versus b plot enter so now a versus b plot so this is your a versus b plot and here you get it so this marker options you are getting that if you have multiple graphs then with this marker option only you need to identify which plot that is a, a versus b plot or x versus y plot likewise so after this if you want to now you need to provide the x axis title as well as the y axis title to provide that x axis and y axis title you should go to the layout there axis title primary horizontal axis title below the axis so this one x axis we have taken as a i am entering simply x axis values is a right so or otherwise x axis then again enter go to the layout if you click on this figure then only you can uh, this options will be highlighted click on this figure layout go to the axis titles 
primary vertical axis rotated title rotated title means title means will get the title from bottom to top this is you take it as y axis now x axis y axis names also we are provided so if you want to provide the chart title so that is above the chart or center overlay title so whatever it is so above the chart if you want to provide the title so already we have provided with title this one so if you want to keep it in the center layout like this there is option so anyway we will keep above the chart then we have included both horizontal and vertical axis then you can go to the legends if you want to include the legends legends means if you want to include the values also show the legend at the left or bottom so this legends means a versus b plot where do you want to show that legend so generally we will keep it at either left or right so if it is right means you can keep it at right or if you keep it at left means you can keep it at left so like this you can keep the none means you can be none also so in this way even you can move this title also this one and you can increase or decrease the size now you can include the you can adjust that legend also legend will be right side means you can keep it like this you can increase or decrease this one okay now data labels data labels means if you want to have the data points on the curve whether you want to keep it in the center or left or right or above so above means you get like this each marker option you get the data point if it, ne if it is necessary then you can keep otherwise no need so then axis so primary horizontal axis so in which you want to show that means in thousands or in millions or in billions or in log scale likewise so in thousand means you get in terms of thousands only 0 0.002000 likewise so in at the bottom you can see here in thousands it has shown in thousands so 0 0.002 into thousand there is 2 0.004 into thousand four so anyway we are having only single digits let it be show default axis so axis titles primary horizontal axis or you can keep it as none or you can keep it as show the default axis So here again here if you if you want you can change here also just right click on that one format axis simply you can keep it here instead of thousands you want to keep it in hundreds you can keep it in hundreds or if you want to keep none none also it will be like this you can change so simply right click format axis here right click format axis then here you can change the display unit whether you want to keep it in thousands millions millions none means simply default delete it here maximum fixed axis fixed x axis is 10 if you want to increase you can increase here and if you want to increase that step schedule instead of 2 you can keep it also so that will get from one tick mark to other tick mark will get three one plus three four plus three seven like this first you remove these grid lines so then simply a default if you want to keep see here fixed minimum values minus two that's why i started with minus two you can keep zero also 
0369 with three gap. Similarly, y axis also, if you want to change format y axis, fix 0 to 70. So, major unities, if you want to keep 10, let it be. Otherwise, if you want to change to 20, you can keep it to 20 also. 0, 20, 40, 60, like that. If you want to make bold, control B. If you press control B, it will become bold. Likewise, here also on the x axis, click and control B. It will become bold. Even if you keep these tick marks also inside. Just a click, click on, click here, right click, format axis, here major, tick mark type, outside or inside. Inside if you want to keep, inside also, you can keep. Now, tick mark is inside, 3, 6, 9, but here it is at outside. So, in this way, you can keep. So further, if you want to change this one, just right click on that one to make it effective. Format. See, just I will remove these lines. So no need of the uh, line set right? data labels. Simply I will remove the data labels. Now, if you want to make this line effective, just click on that line. Format data series. Here marker option should get it first option. So let it go to the instead of automatic D built in. If you go built in, let's, you can select the rhombus, triangle, cross, star, minus, plus, circle like that. So instead of rhombus, I can go for square also. You can increase that marker option size also or six. Then marker fill. If you want to fill that marker. So default it is with blue color, right? Instead of that, I can go with black color. So line color it is blue. Instead of that, I can go for another different color. So red color. So line style also. If it is if you want to increase that line width, then you can increase the line width here or decrease the line width. Three or two point or even if you change the type, that is, if you want to go for dashed lines, like this means, you can, you can click on that one, corresponding mark, marker line, line color, so this marker line color, solid line, if you want to have red color, let it be, otherwise if you want to keep it in the black, you can keep the black color also, marker line style, that mark line style also. If you want, you can increase that mark line style or let it be as it is. So in this way, we can increase or decrease that one. So this in this way, we can make it effective. So if you want to further, already right click on the button, right click, then format plot area. So here border color, border color instead of no border simply click on the solid line black color border LP. so now if you see earlier there was no border now border line has come and again go to the format plot area right click format plot area border style if you want to increase that width you can increase here so like this you can increase the border width or let it be 2. So fill means you can fill with some color also. Instead of black color, you like to fill with some orange color or this color. In this way, you can do it. Even here also, simply instead of that color, I can go to the format chart area. On, on right side of this inner circle, inner box, this inner box, if you right click, then again you get format chart area, format chart area, also border color, if you want to have a line, then keep some solid line, otherwise no line means you can keep no line also. If you 
want to have solid line, you have solid line. Solid line again, black there. Even further, also, if you want to increase the border line width, shadow, fill. Fill means if you want to fill it with some other color. So, I will like fill that with other color like this. Okay. Now you see. So, inner rectangle is with one color, outer rectangle is with another color. In this way, we can make the plot effective even if one more axis is added with different numbers. That is nothing but let us take this is some, some other ABC. So, here instead of with two digits, if it is three digits. 23 so now you want to include this graph also versus same x axis. Then again you can go here, uh, you can go here, right click on that one, select data, you can add here, add series name. That is, let it be with A versus C and x axis. If it is another x axis, also you can choose, otherwise. Same axis means x axis values you can click y axis. Y axis is this one. Click and OK. And OK. See here x axis is same, but y axis earlier is two digit, now it is with three digit numbers, right? So that's why one graph is at bottom of the x axis, near to the x axis, one is with other is far from that x axis because this is in three digits. So to change that two digit on one x one y axis three digit on other y axis means just you right click on that one go to the format data series keep that as second x axis now you see so 500 everything that has come onto the other axis And two digit is on the primary primary vertical axis. Three digits are on the secondary vertical axis. When for this also, you can do the same thing. So here you can go to the layout. You remove the data labels. None. Click on that. Right click format data series. Go to the marker options. Built in. So let me take circle. Marker fill. So here I'll fill with white color and line color, solid line I'll give and the line style. Let it be R, you can reduce the line style. Marker line color, solid line, black marker, line style, let it be 175. See here, so this dotted the red line with square marker option is nothing but A versus B plot. So solid line with circle marker option is nothing but A versus C plot. In this way, we can make the effective plot. Even you can add the chart title also. So here, legend, axis title, chart title. Centered overlay or send above the chart. So something you can give so this chart title as let it be the same title, or you can change the title also. Even if you want to change that values also, again right click there, select data, click on this, edit. If you want to change the series name, x axis values, you can click here and select some other x axis like this. Okay, 
and y axis also you can change and if you click ok correspondingly it will be drawn or if you want to add one more then you can add also you can give the series name x axis y axis values you can select and one more plot also you will create here so in this way we can make even you can remove these colors also earlier we were added right right click on right, right click on the chart area format chart area you can remove that lines no fill border color also no line if you want to give no line then with the part like this or a little bit simply control z So like this you can make it. Now if you want to save this or if you want to copy this plot on into your uh, word file means just to click copy open the word file. Enter word or directly open the Microsoft Word. Then here right click and paste. Now it will be saved. So you can move here and here. But before that, you go to the format. How do you want to paste the text? Wrapping in line with the text means it, this plot will be in line with the text. Square, tight, tight means everywhere you can move. Here and there you can move behind the text or in front of the text like that. If it is tight means simply if it, the tight means you can move that. If it is in line with the text means will go and you cannot move that simply you need to enter that like this you need to do if it is tight means go to the format text wrapping tight means with cursor you can move that plot you can reduce or increase the size accordingly as per your a requirement you can reduce or decrease this marker sizes also to make it very effective so in this way we can make the effective plot in excel sheet if you explore you can find more options also so thank you thank you for watching